Today I just wanted to go over a couple of notes that I jotted down on the top business needs checklist. Every business needs to have fill in the blanks. Have you selected a name for your business? When I first started my business, I spent some time spinning my wheels on certain things that I could have spent less time on and some things that I didn't even realize that I needed. Every business needs a checklist to stay on track and to allow you to start promoting yourself. So I'll give you my quick list of business basics and if you would like the list, I'll put in the description below the link to be able to print it out for yourself. So the number one thing that most people spend a lot of time on, and I know myself, was naming my business. I had a pad next to me. I just kept trying to come up with ideas of different names. And I was teaching yoga, teaching cooking classes. I was a health coach. And I finally settled on the cooking yogi because it was all encompassing for what I did and it pretty much explained it without me having to go into details. When I went networking, if I said cooking yogi, they kind of, it kind of led them into the conversation. But it's often also okay to just use your name because on social media, that's how people are going to find you anyway. So it's not a terrible thing. If you get stuck, just go with your name and just keep moving. You're going to need a website. Everybody has a website these days. Most people don't do business with others unless they check out their website first. So on your website, there are some basic things that you're going to need to have. You're about me. It's great if you can have a product on there. And we say you should have like three products. You know, you're maybe a free one, little small product, and then more of your deluxe program and a way for them to contact you. How are they going to get in touch with you? You need an email. Don't intermingle if you have or you have a personal email. Don't try to use that for your business. In the the number one rule of business is keep your personal and your business separate. Money your email, like just be very succinct on which is which. My email is sherry at wellnesscookingacademy.com. It's a professional email. You could just have your name at Gmail, but it's better if you actually create a business email. Also, you know, we always had business cards. A lot of people don't really care so much about business cards anymore because everyone's on their phone. You can use the app Bling and that will make it easier when you meet someone. You can just say, oh, I'll send you my card. And then they have your contact information in their phone. So that's a great way to do it. Business cards aren't, it's not going to hurt get a business card if you're old school. I'm a little old school, but it is a great way to do it on the phone. Also, you really have to have a newsletter service. I use AWeber. I prefer that because it's pretty robust. I can do my responders and landing pages, everything right from there. But MailChimp is free. I'll link the AWeber link below just so you can check it out. So you also need to have a free offer. That is how you build your email list and start to generate some interest in what you have. So on the Wellness Cooking Academy, there is a resource tab up at the top. It, there's a drop down. The bottom one, second option, is a free offer. It's already built for you. All you have to do is click on that and then it will send you a template for a free offer. There's images, there's text. You just personalize it a little bit and go with it. It's it's an easy way to get started. And then once they click on that, there has to be a way to deliver it. That's why you use an email service like AWeber. So you have a responder series, you send them the free offer, and then it's a good practice to start sending them email every couple of days after that with a little bit more information about who you are, what you do, and then maybe 
an option for them to purchase a program or service from you. Also, you have to know what is your products and service. I mentioned earlier on your website, you can have like an ABC, a free, small, deluxe program. You have to know what those are. That is how we got established the Wellness Cooking Academy. I was teaching cooking classes as the cooking yogi all around, and I had a lot of health coaches asking me how I did it. So those are just built for you, done for you. Cooking classes, there's an outline, there's packing list, the recipes, and everything you need to get up and get running. Super simple. You just print it out, you brand it, you put your name on it. There's a field that you can change it from our, our Wellness Cooking Academy to your own. And then you have everything ready to go. And I don't recommend that you try to do like a million classes if you're gonna do the cooking classes. Just stick with a few simple ones. You can always retitle them. Just keep it as generic as you can. Like as an example, our signature cooking class is the done for you is the greens class. That can be done in so many different ways. It can be green. It can be a couple's cooking class. You can run it at your church and just talk because all it is is talking about nutrition and it's very simple recipes. It just gets people interested. It's a way for you to get in front of them and they learn who you are and what you do and how you help people. This is generally for people who are in the wellness industry. It's a way for them to be able to get themselves in front of a lot of people and start generating interest. Also, you're gonna need to network a little bit. Every town has a bunch of groups you can find out about. That's how you're gonna meet people. But separate from that, you don't have to go and do it that way if you want. You're also networking, a cooking class is networking, you're meeting people and you're getting out there. But how do you get others to like doctors, chiropractors, they should know what you're doing. So if you run into their office, you know, drop off your information. And maybe if you're doing, you go do a health fair, then have, you know, your giveaways. And sometimes you can partner up maybe with a chiropractor or, you know, a yoga instructor or a yoga studio. There's so many different ways. You don't want to make yourself crazy. We always say try to keep it as simple as possible. But what you're really looking to do is to just be able to network with other wellness people so you can refer back and forth and just getting in front of people. And then you also need, this is really, really important, you need a way to get paid, to accept payments, your payment gateway. What is it? I use PayPal and I've used it for years. So, you know, some people use Stripe. There's lots of different ways but I would try to keep it something like that. You can have people Venmo you or Zelle at a cooking class. If like I have a cookbook I bring to the cooking classes. And if somebody doesn't have, you know, at the time, all well, my cooking classes, it was $20. If somebody doesn't have $20, sure, let them Venmo you, let them sell you. But for an actual program, it's better if there is an opportunity for them to be able to click and then it goes to your payment gateway and then you are able to collect your payment. So that is it, the top basic needs checklist. If you want it, just click on the link below. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for joining. If you like the video, like the video and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you will like and subscribe to our channel. See you next week.